the debate over reopening universities in Florida was front and center today in Tallahassee. The Board of Governors is discussing several possible options for the fall, including the possibility of having classes maybe a mix of in-person and online. News 6's Crystal Moyer listened in on that meeting. She joins us live in the newsroom. So, Crystal, there are a lot of possibilities still on the table. There are. While each university will have to come up with its own individual plans on how they will reopen their campus, the Board of Governors is supporting students returning back to campus this fall. The blueprint that was presented was very broad, but provides the elements the universities will need to implement moving forward. Some of the highlights of the blueprint include a testing plan for each university, including when and how often students and staff should be tested for the virus, protocols with local hospitals to respond to any positive cases or hotspots on campus, and a platform for which students can continue instruction remotely. And working with the Florida Department of Health to assist in contact tracing and elevated surveillance related to any positive cases, that's an element the Chancellor of the State University System says is most critical. Is not only identifying individuals who have become exposed or infected, but also trying to understand what that group of individuals around them is so that we can be prepared to move to the other levels of activity that we need, which includes plans for how we will isolate individuals involved in on-campus housing and what resources we need for those individuals, including healthcare, counseling, and academic support. Each university will submit its own plans for reopening and the board will review and decide if they will approve those plans during a face-to-face -face meeting at UCF on June 23rd. In the newsroom, Crystal Moyer getting results, News 6.